Hello guys, time for another demo project with Laravel and Vue.js and the code as usual will be available on GitHub. At the end of the lesson you will get the link. And the story goes from the comment on my previous video. So if you are a subscriber to this channel you'll probably remember multi-level categories with Vue.js showing the products and showing three levels of categories. And then one of the comments was from this follower who asked for filtering. So filtering product by brand, shop, price range, category and subcategory. And this is a typical scenario for eShop or catalog. And we decided to make a demo project from that, showing the Vue.js way how to do that. And also last week I've shot a video about the fact that it's okay to use jQuery instead of Vue.js for simple filtering. But this video will be a counter example where it's beneficial to use Use Vue.js specifically to manipulate and watch the changes of the data. So this is how it looks. Same catalog on the right, list of products, but then it is filtered on the left by price, by categories and manufacturers. So if you click more than 500 price, not only that part is refreshed, also categories and manufacturers. So we click categories and as you can see this number turns into three and three products here. So we untick that one, tick this one, and as you can see, three and five, there are eight products in total and there are eight products in total of the price. Another typical example of this is Booking.com when you try to book some trip and then there are multiple features and multiple filters on the sidebar like price, range, whether there's beach, whether there's internet and a lot of other facilities to filter from. And this is exactly what we try to mimic here. So this is how it works in terms of front end. Now let's take a look at the code. If we go to PHP Storm, there's the main component, actually only one Vue.js component, front.view, and here's the main table. So for each of the products, it loads the products and nothing really complicated here. So that's the template part, the HTML part, and in the script part, it's loading products with this. Just loading the products from the API with parameters, we will get to that in a second, and then assigns the response to products. So this product becomes in the Vue.js, this variable. And now this is where it gets more complicated. On top you have three filters, price, categories and manufacturers. And there are three variables, three arrays, prices, categories and manufacturers. So all the possible checkbox values with the numbers. So products count, products count and products count for every one of them. So the question then becomes how to load them up front on the first loading of the page and then how to reload each of them on change. And this is where Vue.js shines to compare with jQuery. If you do that with jQuery, you will have a lot of DOM manipulations. On change of one input, you need to refresh other inputs. So you're basically working with HTML tags and attributes. With Vue.js, you are working with data. So that's probably the main specific difference between jQuery and Vue.js. So jQuery works with DOM, with elements, with visual stuff and Vue.js works with data, so variables and properties, and then under the hood transforms that into visual result. So in the Vue.js file, structurally, we have these variables. So prices, categories, and manufacturers, these are three arrays that will be transformed to those checkboxes. And then separately, there's selected, which of those are selected, and these become the parameter for the backend. So let's try to trace step by step. On the first loading of the page, we load categories, manufacturers, prices, and then products. And then we watch whenever selected is changed, then we reload everything again. So load categories, get the categories with all the parameters from selected except for categories. Then load products, load the products with all the parameters. Load manufacturers omits the manufacturer's parameter from selected array and prices omits the prices. And then on change event is happening because in every checkbox we have V model. So we assign every checkbox to the value of selected manufacturers, selected categories and selected prices. So this is how it all ties together. And this is the main benefit of Vue.js that is happening working with variables instead of visual components and attributes. And on the back end, if we go to slash categories, for example, this is category controller, and we're doing two things here. So loading all the categories, so category get, with count is eloquent function, which counts has many relationship amount of records of whatever relationship you specify. So category products is has many. 
So you can use with count and then the result will be transformed to products underscore count. And then for every relationship, you can add a callback function with filter. And this is query with filters. And with filters is a scope, eloquent scope. So if we load the product PHP model, you have this scope with filters. In the description of the video, I will give the links to official Laravel documentation on both of those topics, scopes and with count, so you can read about those later. But essentially, it's getting request input, all the get parameters. So if there are manufacturers, then it adds that to the query. We're in manufacturer, we're in category. For prices, it's a bit more complicated because there are ranges of prices. So from 5,000 to 10,000, for example. But essentially, scope adds more where statements to the query of getting the categories. So if we try to load, for example, I will just demo. It's loading everything and here are the API calls. So for example, categories. The result of that is category ID, name and products count. So products count is the result of that with count, adding the scope of filters. And almost identical is manufacturer controller and prices controller. We're loading the model that we need with count of the products. And then at the end, we're loading the actual products. Same thing with filters. So if we get back to Vue.js component, all of those API categories, API products, API manufacturers and prices. So these one, manufacturers and prices, as you can see, it's reusing the same params of this selected to filter the amount of products for each category and the products themselves. So I'm not sure if you get the main idea, but the idea is to tie everything to selected variable of the Vue.js component. So this one, this is the centerpiece of all the filtering for all the data. And again, I'm probably repeating myself, but that's the main idea of this video that Vue.js shines working with the variables instead of visual components, especially if you have more complicated logic, more complicated calculations, filtering and stuff like that. So that's it. Again, the code will be on GitHub in the repository. The link is on the screen and it will be in the description of the video. Also, I encourage you to sign up to YouTube channel because I'm shooting videos almost daily now. So you will get Laravel tips and tricks, including Vue.js every day. Or if you want to get more information from Laravel community, more useful links and tips and tricks, I have a newsletter which I send every Thursday with around 20 links from the community that I read myself every week. So if you want to follow the trends of what's latest happening in Laravel, subscribe to the newsletter, which currently has already 4,000 subscribers. So thank you for subscribing and see you guys in other videos.